Hey guys, Big Dan Bates here, Bates Photography, and we have made it to the final tab in this beast of a menu for the Sony A9. It's been a lot of fun. I had fun anyway. I like technical stuff. Um, this is a awesome tab. Uh, it's the star tab. It's my menu. You see here I have a couple of things laid out. Uh, basically we're looking at, by default there's going to be nothing here. It's going to be blank. And you're going to pick and choose things from the menu that you want to have at your fingertips. Kind of like everything in one place. This is a great idea. I know there are some devices that, that have this type of a thing uh, where you can create your own little page. Now you can make multiple pages with this. Uh, this is all the stuff that I don't have mapped to a button or I don't have in my like function menu per se. So these are just real quick. I can come in here, format my cards, mess with my volume settings, cleaning mode, uh, steady shot if I want to turn it off, if I'm on a tripod, I have easy access to it. Because the bottom line is if there's things that you don't alter much or you don't change much or settings that um, you basically never have to change except for a once in a while rare thing, it's nice to have them at your disposal in a quick situation. I, I never shoot on a tripod unless I'm doing real estate. So I can come right here, bam, turn off my, my steady shot. It's done. I don't have to hunt through the menu and try to remember where it was in a menu that all in all has, I don't know, 30 some pages. Um, so we're going to talk quickly here. How do we set this up? So when we go to page two of my menu, you have add item, sort item, delete item, delete page, delete all. So if we're going to add an item to our page, we're going to come and, you know, I'm going to go, I want to delete them all. And that's everything. So now I'm back to factory standards. I have nothing in here now. So when I go over to my menu, there's nothing but the actual setup. So we're going to add item. And they have them laid out up top. We have 32 pages of options, but there's only a few per page. They have them laid out up top. Uh, which is nice, they have it broken down into categories. So quality image size. So these are things you can map into the My Menu. Um, you know, page two, quality image size. Shoot mode. So you have all, you know, all these different things you may want to do. Autofocus page one, autofocus page two, all different options. So it's everything that we've gone over in the menu already but you have the ability now to assign them to a tab. So off the top of my head, I don't really remember what I had listed as the very first item in my, um, in my menu, but I'm gonna just add steady shot. Now, when you're adding it, right now there's nothing else there. There's my HDMI cable, sorry. Right now there's nothing there. You're going to hit the center button on the wheel to add it. As we start adding items, we'll be able to move that uh, orange line up and down to pick where we want stuff. Um, so we're still in the add item menu. It'll let you add multiple things as you're going here. Um, let's see, I'm just trying to think what else I had in there off the top of my head. Again, even, even though I have them on my menu, there's very few things that I access frequently. Uh, cleaning mode was one of them. Okay, I want to keep that down towards the bottom, so I want to leave that line where it was. Uh, da, 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 format, I want that right up top. So now I'm gonna push up and down on the wheel to pick my place. Okay, that's been added in. Quality, I wanna add that in under format. Because sometimes I, um, sometimes I wanna switch to a particular, um, I maybe switch to JPEG or JPEG and RAW if I'm trying to do a, um, I really don't shoot HDR, but if I was trying to do 
uh, something like that. I do sometimes like to go in there and switch that around. Uh, do, 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 do. We'll, we'll put that in there. That's something I actually have mapped to a button, but just for the uh, sake of doing this. So we're going to hit menu and get out of here now. So now I have two pages to my menu setting. I have the things that I've chosen to put on here. And then I have the setup. So you saw us add sort is going to be not much different. I'm going to pick one of these items and I want to move my line and decide where it is I want to move that to. It's just that simple. And wherever your orange line is, uh, that's the space between those two items that your orange line is displaying. So between cleaning mode and Sonic AF is where it's going to move that to. So there's your sort. Delete. Real simple. You're going to pick the thing you want to delete and hit OK, and it's gone. Delete page. Now, if you set up two, three, four pages, you can get, I think it's like six items to a page. If you want to set up my menu as a whole new menu in the order you like it, if you came from a different system and you know um, you know the menu very well and you want to mimic that menu here, you can reset up the entire menu. You can have as many pages as you want. Um, and this will enable you to go through and delete an entire page of things, which I'm not going to do right now. And then delete all. We'll delete all. We're going to have one page or 20 pages. It just deletes everything you have set up. And that's it. That is my menu in a nutshell. All right, guys. Well, that wraps up uh, the A9 complete menu walkthrough. So as you see here, we're showing you some samples from some A9 shoots we did recently. In a couple weeks, we've had it. Me and my wife were both very, very happy with the A9. Um, as far as the menu goes, there are definitely some obsolete um, settings in there that they could take out that are no longer required because of the joystick or the touchscreen or what have you. I do think the My Menu is a wonderful update for those who may be coming again from another system. They can set up the menu to what they're familiar with it. Uh, it's a great camera. We have no overheating issues. And uh, it's really, I think, going to make its mark in the world, not only as a wedding camera, but as, as Sony's new flagship. Uh, the resolutions are perfect size for doing large volume of pictures. Um, but large enough to get the good detail that you want. So with that, I leave you. Please like if this has helped you. Subscribe if you want to keep seeing our content. And have a great, great day.